as they were on the way to J. Iris's home, some men came and said, your daughter has died. Why bother the teacher anymore? Jesus heard what they said, and he said to J. Iris, don't worry, I want to rededicate and commit my life to you. Our featured person's life was transformed by God's grace. He not only proved himself as a successful assistant football coach at the university level, but also in the ranks of the professional national football league. He was then asked to become a head coach in 1981. Never one to be satisfied with mediocrity, our featured person built his new team into a football dynasty. In his 12 years with the team, he led them to four Super Bowls and three world championships. He was also named the Associated Press Coach of the Year in back-to-back -back seasons. Our featured person retired from the NFL in 1993. It was a shock to no one when he was voted into the NFL Hall of Fame in 1996, the first year he was eligible. In 2004, he returned to coaching in the NFL while owning a stock car racing team. And he continues to give God glory. He remembers those days with the Washington Redskins fondly. And for Coach Joe Gibbs, his place in the NFL Hall of Fame is not nearly so important as his place as one of God's children. With Life Stories, I'm Joe Norris. If you enjoyed today's story, you will find additional articles in this series on the WRBS website at www.wrbs.com. We love to make God's Word available to anyone who asks. We have the Bible in the easy-to-read English version. You can get one free of charge. Just write to us by postal mail to KNLS, Anchor Point, Alaska, 99556, USA. Or email us at knls at aol.com. of today's best music with Ariana Grande.